Hello and welcome back to another video from our MATLAB for Chemistry video series. In this video, we'll explore how molecular properties like log P and log S can influence the absorption and distribution of orally administered drugs. We will use MATLAB Symbiology Toolbox to simulate a simple pharmacokinetics model that connects these properties to drug bioavailability. This provides a powerful starting point for early stage drug screening and absorption. If you haven't already, please watch our first video on how to visualize and analyze molecular structure. In that video, we learned how to visually inspect the structural similarities between D-glucose and glyphlozins as synthetic inhibitors for the sodium glucose co-transporter 2 SGLT2 protein. Please also check out our uh, previous video on molecular clustering with GPU acceleration. In that video, we learned how to replace the visually, visual inspection by some GPU accelerated algorithms using RD kit that allows you to analyze the structural similarities between molecules in large databases. Today, we learn how what we learned so far in chemoformatics can be integrated into a practical system level application of pharmacokinetic simulation. This means we will search for drug like molecules in our database and then simulate it, its absorption and distribution by the body over time. Let's start by chemoformatics. Based on these uh, techniques that we learned, we begin by searching in a large molecular dataset and find molecules that are similar to some known glyphlozins. We then extract those molecules and save it in a new database for further analysis. Please download the GitHub repo for this video using the link provided in the description. This step is done by going to the similarity search folder and running the provided MATLAB code. Remember that you need to have RD kit for this part. You can learn how to install RD kit in our previous videos. This is how this code works. You first provide the path to Python uh, with RD kit installation. We load our main target data set that we are going to search in. We also load the reference data set which has three known glyphlozins in it. The data set that we are searching in is the same data set that we used before. It has almost 10,000 molecules in it, and you can obtain it from this paper and cite this publication for it. As we learned before, we then extract the molecular fingerprints using RD kit. Then to accelerate the process, we move them to GPU and compute Tanimoto similarities on GPU. Then we bring the results back to CPU and find the matching molecules within a desired threshold similarity score. Uh, we save the collected molecules in a new data set. And this is the data set that we are going to use for our pharmacokinetics analysis in the next step. Note that we only found three new molecules in this data set, even though we set the similarity score very low at 30%. Now let's look at the pharmacokinetics of these molecules. We will learn how to use molecular properties like solubility, partition coefficient, and molecular weight in pharmacokinetic simulation. Within the main folder from the GitHub repo that you downloaded, click on the bioavailability similarity project. This would open a pre-built uh, model in MATLAB Symbiology Toolbox. You can learn more about this toolbox using the link provided in the description. This simple kinetic model formulates the bioavailability of a drug that is orally administered. Bioavailability is the fraction of an orally administered drug that reaches systemic circulation in an active form. This model is built as a three ordinary differential equation system. This first equation models the dissolution rate of an orally administered solid drug into the gastrointestinal fluid. It captures how fast the solid form disappears as it dissolves into its dissolved form. 
The term is negative, reflecting the loss of solid drug over time. Solubility in this equation is the maximum concentration that the drug can reach in a, sol in a solution, which is the saturated point in microgram per milliliter. The second equation describes how the amount of dissolved drug in the GI tract changes over time with two opposing processes. The input generation term for the dissolution of the solid drug into the GI fluid and the output which is elimination term for the absorption of, uh, of dissolved drug into the bloodstream which here we call it central component with the absorption rate constant of Ki central. The last equation models how the drug concentration in the central component changes over time by capturing both drug absorption into the bloodstream and drug clearance from it. CL central is the clearance rate constant by the units of 1 over hour. The way that this system of equation relates to our chemoformatics result is through the implementation of those properties into these equations. We simply plug in log S, log P, and molecular weight in these equations, as you can see here. To use this uh, pre-built symbiology model for a given drug, you can simply enter manually these values for solubility, log P, and molecular weights uh, as parameters. You can then go to model analyzer. Uh, there you can configure and simulate it and see the result, which in this case is how the drug concentration in blood is changing over time. But if you want to run this model for multiple molecules as it is our intention in this video, then you can do it by running this live script in your main directory. This code loads the database that we generated in step one, which contains six molecules. And it loads the symbiology model that we just reviewed, plug in solubility, log P, and molecular weight from the dataset into the model, and run the simulations for all the molecules in the dataset. The results now show how the concentration of the active drug-like molecules change in the bloodstream over the 12 hours of simulation time under the orally administrated dose. As always, let's wrap up uh, this session uh, with an engaging exercise. Visit this example page on mathworks.com. Uh, on this page, you will find a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to add SGLT2 inhibition to an existing glucose inf uh, insulin model using Symbiology Model Builder. As you explore that example, consider how the bioavailability model you just built in today's video could be integrated into the system. This would create a powerful end-to-end -end workflow connecting your chemoformatics-based candidate selection to a real-world pharmacological model for treating type 2 diabetes. Thank you again for watching and see you in the next MATLAB for Chemistry video.